for those who don't know the stulty wool we are today. And this tree here in front of Carl is one of my favourite, big old sycamore. Just starting <laughs> to turn. And behind the sycamore there's a path we're going to take. So come with us on our journey to Cronkaroo. Pretty strenuous path up to it. We walk up the top of the hill and then we're going to go That's a new system. I across like the hill. We are indeed. <laughs> Penny's decided today would be a good day to rub her rub, rub neck in sheep shit. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that. I am. <laughs> sheep is not a bad word. <laughs> so ignore that one. Just a suggestion. So to mark this exciting day, when does the Queen get in bed? Uh, Monday the 19th, so we're on... Oh, what date is it today? 18th, 17th. 15th. 15th of September. Yep. There's a proclamation. There's a proclamation on Timwald Hill tomorrow. That's disgusting. <laughs> Shouldn't be allowed that Carla. Are you back at Greens tomorrow? I am. I will be serving all the lovely dishes. I had a lamb and hot cooking pot. them. I had a lamb hot pot, yes, it was delightful. As this is a long, rather tedious path and I can talk and walk, we'll um, just put a bit of the video in, but this is the path you need to take. Zigzag for a reason. No. I have to find out what the oh. waterfall is called. This little uh, stream here is called the footpath. <clears throat> and it comes down from a place called Killebrega. The top of that hill. There's another video we did a few months ago. Is that another winner, Carla? I'm just taking a selfie. A selfie? No, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, are we there yet? You want to worry about your granddad. Oh, I'm just, I'm keeping going because the sandwiches I've made are so good and it encourages me to get to the destination. Otherwise I'd have nothing to live for really. <laughs> oh. Which way are we going down? Straight down. The other end? Yep. Oh God. Here's you, not sure where we are. Here's your bearings. So the river comes to the dam. The top of that hill there is Balaskelia. And right behind Balaskelia is Snaefell. So that's where we're going. Heading to at the moment anyway. That's Killabrega. Balaskella. Oh, is that Craggins? Right in between there. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. 
good, isn't it? And just there, no, it's not, is it? I made that mistake last time. It's not Craig Moore. Craig Moore's in that forest. Hey? It's in there. No, I know that, but it's not right there, is it? No. No, it's further around there. It's more or less in that clearing. In fact, yeah, it's just behind that yep. bit there, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm getting good at this. Oh, and there's an old ruin. Love ya. <laughs> Why do I have to put up with so much stick? You put up with it. <sighs> How's your muff? Still attached. <sighs> so as we uh, approach the top of this little rise, we're going to come to a bunch of ruins called Slumanic. <clears throat> Now, Slumanic was reported to be, to be a home of some Maya scoff monks. No idea when. I'm still excited. Let's have a look. It's funny because I love being up high, but I don't like heights. This Do is all right. I just love it. The adrenaline's just fantastic. I'm not even at the top yet. Not the, even the seeing what I want to see. Well, I can valley. see all the stones all over the place, and I'm just like, oh. You see, this is the sort of girl you need to have, folks. Forget your fancy dinners, <laughs> your diamond rings. Take her to a hill with an old ruin. And a butty. Buy an old ruin. <laughs> with an old ruin. And she's very happy. Look what we found, doggies. So as we turn another corner. Nearly <sighs> at the top. I remember having my butties up here when I first seen it. Did you? Yeah, I had one over at Ballaskella and the other half over here because there was two gifts. Were you on your own? Um, no, I wasn't, but they'd eaten their sandwiches, but I'm clever. <laughs> I had to save my celebration. Ooh. <clears throat> Finds another photo opportunity. Roxy, Roxy, hey yo! <laughs> Some view from here. What of my ass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Ooh. going dark up here. Oh. oh, that's the most thing I like about this. It's the peace. You can't, you can't buy it, can you? It's just great. Well, you can try, but you never achieve it. Oh, people pay loads and loads of money for relaxation, myself included. But just we a can, bit of energy we, and then up here. We come up here for nothing. We come up. We come up here for nothing. Just, so, as you said, just some energy. Yeah. Good old fashioned energy. Somebody know what it's called? Catty. Catty. <laughs> Catty Brown. Catty Brown. So we're now heading out along the top of the hill. Sheep country. <sighs> Hmm. 
a bit sceptical. Are we going the right way? Roxy, don't look at them. Okay, we're on the top of the hill now. It's very windy. So, um, while you listen to the wind, we'll put some music on from our band, Mac Tullick Vannon, as you walk along the top of this beautiful hillside. My nose is dripping. Your turn to sniff all the way through the video now. I say it every time, but it is lovely to be out, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I was thinking this morning, I was sitting there, let me break it up. Oh, I don't know, I could be asked today or not. And when you get out, you think, oh, that's why I do it. I thought you did it because you get fed. <laughs> it's a hell of a way to go to get a really meal. Don't you be unappreciative, I'm, I'm carrying them, fella. I'll show my appreciation later. And it's homemade banana and chocolate cake. Oh. Be nice to me. Carly, you're beautiful. Lovely. <laughs> Should you take the skin off this time? Don't push it, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, yeah. I've never been up here ever in my life. Now we're going to join the Hole in the Wall gang. Very <sighs> famous Manx gang. Ooh. Could you imagine this in winter? Like my ears are stinging a little bit now. Yeah, I was just thinking, why well, I got that sort of rush, windy thing in my side of my head, like pixie ears effect. Yes. <laughs> Do um, that dance again. <laughs> I think I should have put that on there. Uh, what TikTok? Yeah, you could start a trend. Oh no, I think I'll stop a trend. Oh, Roxy Penny. So I was just going to say to you folks about the stone walls, can you imagine how much manpower and hours people must have spent this way. doing these? Just beggars <sighs> belief to me. It wouldn't happen these days because you couldn't use a machine. I'll go first. You go first then. Is it wet? No. Okay. I don't like unfamiliar ground, you. <laughs> Whoa, come on. Well, we're going that way then. Oh, down there you're going to go. <laughs> she's going to go that way because she's springy. That's the way, Roxy, that's right. Ow. There's bloody prickles here. You don't see Ben Fogel doing this easily. Eh? You don't see Ben Fogel go through all this. I don't know who that is. There's lots of series on TV where he goes and lives with people in strange places. You all right there? Yeah. You can get through. Yeah. <sighs> no, there's loads more. I need a wee. <clears throat> I haven't seen this little room before, so I don't know what it's called. But up on the hillside behind us there, behind us, Kilabrega. If you haven't visited that one, that's a great one to take the kids to. It's a fabulous one, easy to get to too. Must admit it's a few years since I've been up here. Four or five, I think. A bunch of volume one of my books, Fulton books. Oh, dangerous and I can't actually remember how I got there. Half the fun is finding out, I think. Yes, dear. Ah, oh, just said it, didn't I? You did. <clears throat> I'd like to tell you lots about this place, but we're not even there yet. <laughs> 
It's amazing that they planted up here deciduous trees <coughs> at this height. Right. And when I looked up, the height up here is 750 feet above sea level. Ah. Yeah. Still look to be thriving, don't they? Yeah. It's nice. I like it. It's um, different. It's lovely. So after several false starts, found through ferns and gorse and brush, we finally found our way through a plantation called the Ohio Plantation. There's quite a few American names in the Alamand. Some of you know why it's called the Ohio Plantation, I don't know why. And we're now above the gorse line, just about. So this farm was 750 feet above sea level. It was a challenge, I have to say. I'm not speaking to you. It's always a result. Huh. It's one of the days we nearly thought we were going to have to pack up. Have I put this on the hillside? We did nearly give up, didn't we? But Kelly's stalwartness kept us going. <clears throat> Who lived at this one anyway? Hey? Who lived at this one, do you know? The Neens. Neens? Yeah. We'll have a chat about it when we get near it, do we? Yes, boss. Find a shelter spot. Good job I'm not speaking to you because you can chat away to yourself, can't you? <laughs> Come on, doggies. How did they get up to it themselves? They came up the way you said, I think, from Davies Croft or around that area, because there is a path there. Yeah. Why on earth didn't we go that way? Um, well, you know, this seems so much easier. Oh, yeah. Let's go the fun way. Oh, we got our breath back. It's a view down the Sulby Valley. Another caterpillar. I think they're moth caterpillars. Oh. Mushrooms! What? Mushrooms! Black ones. Oh, eating that. I don't care what you say about them. It's magic. Oh, we've lost it again! Good view on a clear day though, isn't it? It's good view on that. You can see the hills across there. I know. Other land. That's a thing to imagine, isn't it? Mm. Living here and then seeing that land over there, wherever they came from. Remember that um, Balaskella where they'd shipwrecked? Jerby. At Jerby, right? So. It's funny, I couldn't find any record of any quails living in this place. Oh, right. Just leaving. So they'd have been looking down that way, wouldn't they, thinking? Oh, then again, no, the hill blocks it. Hmm. I'm glad that I made that cake. I bet you are. I am yeah. too. I wish I'd have brought some for you. Oh well. <laughs> Never mind, sweet. You can watch me eat mine.
We're slowly getting to the place. <laughs> Carla says we've done three miles, it's taken us two hours. And I just say the way we went is not for the faint hearted. Oh, don't tell me this is the road. Looks like it, doesn't it? Ish. Yeah, it does look like a road, doesn't it? <sighs> Hang on. Oh, yeah, see, Davy's Craft just over there. We could have come up that little track. Well, what do I know? But anybody could have done that. Oh, I know. At least this way we would have achieved something. Yeah, an argument. <laughs> No, we haven't. <laughs> no, there will be, don't worry. <laughs> I'm tired. When I said I wasn't drinking tonight, I'm just going to drink loads. Ah, it is. Oh. No. Come on, doggies. Come on, get. Ready? She complains about them getting to these places. Never thinks about the filmer, the videoer. So this is Balamish. Started out at 11 o'clock to find this place. Oh, wow. You good doggies. Penny. Turn around and give us a smile. That's bad. We'll need it. Oh, cool, this is good. Wow. Must be one of the most impressive uh, range of Fultons I've been to. Pretty untouched. It's decaying quickly though. You really do know how to show a girl a good time. I haven't finished with you yet. <laughs> God help me. Oh, wow. Well, this is great. See, all my moody moaningness is gone. And the wind's gone. Yeah, I can't smell anything now. <laughs> I like it. This is Balamish or Crankgaru. Garu or Garo. What did I say it was meant? What does oh, it mean? Huh, rough hill. Rough hill. And we can guarantee that is a rough hill. It's 150 acres in its heyday. Originally it was a sheep fold or just a sheep farm. Then the turn of the 1900 century, or 1900, it became a, offered for sale with 100 acres and a superior dwelling house. As they're coming to today, you wouldn't say it was superior. All the little sheds on the side, you all sit under the hill. It 
we'll go back and have a look at them and see what we can decide what was in them. The house was a grand affair. The Neen family lived in it for 150 years probably. I owned it. You and Neen died in 1922 I think. You left a widow with nine kids. A lot of those children went off to America. Him and his wife are buried in the churchyard. That's you found a picture of that somewhere. Look the last that. couple oh. that live here, Esther and Willie Neen. They were brother and sister. And they moved down to the valley below in the early, 19, uh, early 1940s. I mean, we came up today and I tell you what, I was puffing. I imagine that man must be in his 80s when he moved down the valley. Some, some fitness in him. Hmm. And what a view you've got down the Sobley Valley. And I've always said to folks, when you're up here, you're never on your own because we can see other farms from here. There's a place called the valley called Killebrega. Down below us on the right is Cluggard. Down below us still is Davies Croft. Go over that hill, we can get to Balaskelia, Slumanic, Block Erie, Craigmore, Sherrick Bain. They're all within viewing distance. They all have a fire. And behind me here, or to, in front of me, is the ash trees. What are they for, Carla? Oh, God. We're warding away spirits. Absolutely. As I've always said, the old folks are very superstitious. So Carl has christened this the stairway to heaven. And you know, if you come in from that way, you get the sun behind me. And then I'd say I was heaven sent. I think you're pushing it now. I'm pushing it, trusting these steps. See, people even went to the toilet building little steps. Ah. To come down into the uh, garden. It's cute. You're as cute as you, my love. Oh, no. For those who um, follow our little videos, we all know, you'll know what this is. This is a part of the um, threshing system. And this place was offered for sale. It said it had a superior threshing system. You can just see the um, batches system for the override. Stop the pearl horse being strangled. And she wasn't going to move this mill because oh. it's two big bolts to a big slate lintel. It's definitely meant to stay here anyway. Come on in with me. Okay. Just um <laughs> Okay, well folks what I'm sitting on here is um the remnants of a threshing system. And um, because it's difficult to get up here, they've not been taken away. Bits of wood left for the um, shakers. And the gearing, this big cog comes in from the other one outside, which is attached to the horse. His neck, and will turn around, and then these other cogs will fit on top of it. So you've got it geared up to speed. That'll be part of bringing the um, oats in, or, or bringing the straw out. This would definitely be the thrashing barn. And. Um, it was actually advertised for sale, as I said, in 1899 with a superior thrashing system. It's difficult to believe up here you'd ever manage to thrash because it's, it's not, not a level field on here. So having a binder up here would be very difficult. I wonder whether they did thrash it out of the stook. They did stook it and cut it with a, with a reaper. So many questions, folks, and no answers. No answers. Do you want to know what this is? I want to know what that is, Carla. It's a peg -a tree. Tell the folks what that means. Oh, because I make my own wording. It's a hawthorn tree. Used for? Hanging out your sheets or your washing. Absolutely. That was in the garden then, I take it, where that is. Yeah. This would have been the cart shed, judging by the opening. <laughs> two cart shed, this one. Ooh. Hinges and gate posts and stuff hanging on them. And they come from Balakubri, which is just across the valley. 
And between these two tombstones you can just see Kilbrega. And bits of wood from the roof from the car shed. Some roof trusses on the ground, they'll never be used again. Nature will pull it back to the ground, I think. I think you might need to do the garden. Why? It's overgrown. Okay. This is the roadway, but it's looking more like a garden. Is this where we're going to live? Yeah. What do you reckon to it? Do you fancy it? Just need a lick of paint and a bit of a uh, hacking back. Would be uh, right. I reckon if he popped a B and Q on the way back, just get some scissors or whatever. Should be enough to do, shouldn't it? Yeah. So yeah. this this was the main road in, I think, wasn't it? Aye, I'd say so. I would, because it got these two very ornate pillars either side with the hinges and the gateposts on the side. When I just looked on Google. I'm wondering if that road behind you, if it goes behind in a zigzag down, because I can't see no zigzag from here. And you? No, I'm wondering, where, how do we get down? Straight down, girl. And that's the view through the gate of Bellamish. Imagine walking out through it every day in the summertime. Imagine walking through it in December. What do you reckon that is? Holy pigeon holes. Well, Hen holes. A bit big for pigeon. I think they are the geese. Or somebody said they may be for bees. Oh, it goes right the way through. In that case, it may just be to run water out. No, no, hang on. It goes in and round like a, an L. Right, well, it's a nest box of some oh. sort then. Yeah, all of them. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And the tombstones. Uh, tombstones. Any inscriptions on them? No. I think the one right beside you had Kelly on the side of it when I was up here last. Ah. On the other side. On the this one? No, that other, there. On the other side of it. Is it written on the side of it? No. No, I didn't think it was. Was that in preparation for when you get up here again? Well, the way you were talking to me, well, I thought I'll be in staying over here. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> You're such a peeping Tom. <laughs> I'm trying to get changed here. <laughs> <laughs> well, just don't leave stuff yet. It's definitely the room of a view. Oh, there he is again. Every time I turn round, you're like in shadow. Yeah, it looks like it must have had a bit of galvanizer at one time. Yeah, most of that's blown down the field, actually. Yeah, so I saw that. You're just up here. It's a gap. Like a wall where you thought the well is. Right. Yeah, it just looks like a little room. Well, it's got a... Can you see that bit of slate or whatever, stone? It looks like it might have been a trough or something. So just the other side of this little trough area, we found like it looks like a well. So it's a conjecture as to whether they're using this for water for the animals. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Um, again, we'll never know. Oh look, what's this? Um, I know it's a horrible thing to say, but that's a cow tie. Ha! Oh, wonder you had me hold it. Yeah. <laughs> You look so very natural, to be fair. <laughs> Moo. <No. laughs> just two bosoms instead of four. Um, just lean down again, put your hand on it. I'll explain how it works. What happens is in the wintertime, will be anyway from September, October onwards till April, the cows that come into this would be a buyer and they'll be tied to the stall for three or four or five months. And the reason it's got like a... a uh, it's, oh, I suppose, what would I say? It's got like a 15-inch up and down movement. The cow was tied with a chain so she could stand up and lie down but that's all she could do. There's another one over there. I know so this this would be it so I'd have to say this cow probably won the best views in the Isle of Man for its winter, winter keep. That sounds cruel but we used to do that with our cows. Poor never cow. suffered, never suffered. Really? Mm. 
Because they'd suffer more outside, wouldn't they? Oh, they'd be dead up here, wouldn't yeah. they? Oh, Ray, look what I've found. Go and have a drink. Go on, Penny, go and have a drink. Do you reckon that's the water supply of the spring? Well, it's a spring because Roxy hasn't fell down it. <laughs> <laughs> there's a water in it. Yeah, we're having a drink. But there's a tree growing out of it. Really? So it's definitely, it's a spring, it's not a well. But... No, I didn't find this last time either. So, so I wonder what that hole in the wall is. Well, have a look when we go over there, because it's definitely something, isn't it? Mm. And it's been made for a reason. Yeah. Just uh, peer into it again. What if a clown comes out? I'd be worried about spiders, really. No, oh, shut up. No, I well, can't see anything. It's got a bar running across it, isn't it, from here? Yeah. Push, 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 just point to it. Uh, I'll do it, shall I? Yeah, you do it. I mean, I, I can't do everything. <sighs> well, I'm suspicious that it is something to do with water, but... It's I a bloody don't. well! Is it the well? Yeah, it is. There's water in it. <laughs> I told you, girl. Wow. It's a square one. Is it? Yeah. Any steps? So, uh... The only bricks I've seen up here. See it? Oh yeah, that's a door. You ever wonder why it's been bricked up? Maybe it was cold. Maybe it was. Huh? There was an odd um, stone in there actually. Wooden lintels are starting to rot away, so it should be down. I think the description of Superior Dwelling House would be perfect, I tell you, it is. Superior. Not anymore. You can see the uh, thing is here where your next level would have been. Well, the rafters. Yeah, that's the one. Ray! I'm risking my life here. Are you insured to do all this? No. So you'll have to buy me some feckin' flowers. Hi, <laughs> right, Queenie. Do you reckon that is a living room? Um. Do you know what? I don't know. Probably not. It's like living on the edge. You're coming out this way? I'm going to come out. I would if I was you. It's unusual for this place, it's quite a newish house because all the windows are wooden. I've never seen one with the wood no. frame before. So there's a few, There is behind you, there's, there's the uh, lintels as well, so maybe the wood was inside. So I reckon this down here is the the kitchen, I reckon this is the kitchen. Do you? Yeah, bedroom. Maybe the quarry could be right. Yeah, I'm the, just thinking that... That is, must be the... It's well, a this, window. It must be a window there, isn't it? Possibly, and this is, they're all fill, it's all filled in, hasn't it? Well, the main door is there. Oh, it's a proper chillock, look. Yeah. You can see. How nice. They didn't really have hallways, though, did they? It looked like it, does it? No, so, that's, so this is the first house I've seen that's got a hallway. So there's your front door. To the right is your kitchen. And that, see, we're almost on the second level. That's the door frame to whatever room that is. God knows. Can't really tell much now. Well, does it look like it had a chimney in that room? No, no. Oh, wait. I don't want to touch anything. Don't go in. I'm not going to go in. Uh, no, I don't think so. Bloody thick walls, though. Wow. Well, living up here, they have some protection. That's double thick, that. That. Which is double thick. Whew, um, that's amazing. Yeah, see that, see the double thickness there? Yeah. Well, that's the same over there, so it could have possibly had a fire in there as well. It's strange, like in the centre of the house, both. Well, they would, wouldn't they? Because that would keep the whole house warm, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Doorway, another doorway. And there was nine children living here. Yeah. That was uh, quite...
quite luxury really to have this massive house. Just imagine up here on the top of this hill. <laughs> well, considering old Arthur Cayley only had that little one down yeah. there, it was 13, yeah. 12, however many. It's got <laughs> two holes at the back here. I don't know, like it was a, a doorway. It does look like a grave though, doesn't it? It does, yeah. So that's your doorway in. The trough. There's a little midget door over there. Oh, there's a chain. What do you think that was for? Don't know. Call Roxy over. Roxy, come here. Make a sit. 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 Good girl. Come here, I'll tie you up. You stay here. That's what it was for. What, for a dog? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I just love the way these things are weathered and rusted away. It's been made to fit that stone, hasn't it? Mm. Gate pose, a hinge for the gate. And apparently there's there's this name that's also at um <coughs> oh <laughs> Bella Skeller. Yeah. And we've seen it somewhere else before. But it's, it doesn't really mean anything, according to Facebook. It's just someone who's graffitied. It's neatly done. And do you know what? It's always in the exact same spot on the gatepost to the left. And looking at it, it's not done with a knife. It's the same exact writing, everything. Someone's actually brought up with chisel and hammer. Kayla. I wonder who Kayla is. Hmm. We've done as much video up here as we can, I think. It's been a fabulous day, it was a trek to get here. The ferns are just taken over really. But I have loved being up here. It's another world for me, another world. Oh well, we we're gonna do a snack chat. Well, after the effort again up here, we'll let we do it up here, didn't we? Mm-hmm. <coughs> so this is Ballamish, as we said a few times. Well worth the effort. We discovered what? Well, cow ties, dog ties, what's your tree? Tiger trees. Mill. Ash. Yeah, and a spring. Mm. And a fabulous dwelling house. It was worth the effort, definitely. And the sandwiches were just so nice. And the, and the banana bread, banana cake. <laughs> Lovely. You need that to try and get down. Needed it. So now we're going to try and uh, go take a quick away home if we can. So I hope you enjoy the video. Be out in a few weeks. I wouldn't suggest it's for everybody this place. There's a hike no matter which way you come. Mm. And the house is quite dangerous, really. Yeah, you need to be very aware of that. And don't come yeah. on your own. Definitely don't come on your own. <laughs> mm, not recommended that at all.